Hello everyone, and you're watching Necro Stevo's narrated Wi-Fi battles. This is my 14th battle, and I had it against Pothra, whom I found on the Serebi IRC chat as well. I'm surprised with the caliber of players I'm finding there. I guess I kind of went into that with the stigma that I couldn't find good players there. But Pothra and I had a great match. Uh, here I'm going to start off with my Thornelius. I love this Roserade lead. And he starts off with Jolteon. Um, I knew I had a sash on this Roselia, uh, Roserade, so it was okay for me to go for the Sleep Powder. He switches in Arcanine, which is great. That's obviously his counter to Arcanine. Uh, that counter Arcanine to my Roselia, expecting any type of strong grass attack or anything like that. But this Roserade has about a base power 64, I believe it was, 64 or 65 hidden power fire. Alongside Toxic Spikes, the Sleep Powder, and the Leaf Storm. So here I switch out to my, um, physical wall... Vaporeon, which I named Nymphus, and he withdraws Arcanine. Knowing that he was going to withdraw, I just went for a Wish, uh, or no, I think I went for a Toxic, actually. I believe I predicted that switch on. Yeah, there we go. I went for the Toxic. That's okay. Melodic's ability kind of likes being hit by Toxic, but, you know, residual damage is nice. Um, but here I believe I go for the Wish, just to see what he's going to do. He goes for the Hypnosis, which you don't see a very, minim very many Melodic, because it's very inaccurate, especially in this gen. They lowered, I think they either left the accuracy just as low as it was, or they lowered it again. Um, but it's not very reliable. Uh, so he misses it that time. You're going to see that there's a lot of misses this battle. And here I protect just to see what he's going to do. Plus I can also grab some free toxic damage on him. He probably does carry the recover, but if I can force him to recover earlier rather than later, that'll put me in a favorable position in the end. But uh, he does actually try to hit for the hypnosis again. I guess he really wants uh, Vaporeon to sleep. Which, even if he did put Vaporeon to sleep, that would be fine with me. He does go for a switch and goes out to his Jolteon. I believe I just went for a Wish. No, I did switch out. I switched out to uh, my um, Deckard. It was a double switch that turn, I believe. And uh, Deckard, uh, for those of you who um, read, uh, the whole electric sheep and androids thing there. So, uh, I believe one of my friends, Shannon, gave me that nickname. So, I enjoy Deckard. He has Substitute, Hidden Power, Ice... Focus Blast, and Thunderbolt. So there he misses his Toxic. Not a big deal, uh, Deckard. I doesn't really mind that. Plus, I had the Substitute anyway. Um, and I went for the Focus Blast, expecting him to switch to something, expecting the um, Thunderbolt, and I miss it. But that's okay, because it's a Flygon, and I do have the Hidden Power Ice. This Hidden Power is a little bit weaker. I believe it's the base power of 61. Um, and that lower power there kind of shows up here, where that Flygon barely lives. Nah, I'm just joking. It's a Focus Slash. But uh, I'm, I would have killed it. Um, so, you know, that hidden power there worked out. He breaks my balloon, my poor balloon, and my substitute with that stone edge. Uh, so yes, you do lose your balloon even if you have a substitute up. But I finish him off with a hidden power ice. So that is nice. You don't want Flygon running around there too much. Uh, after seeing his team on the team preview, I was actually kind of worried because he was carrying some more standard Pokemon and I was using fairly rarely use underuse uh, to your team. So it was a nice little challenge that he had laid out before me there. He goes out back out into Melodic, which I thought was kind of odd, and he goes for the Hypnosis again, and uh, I, I, he missed again, and I got the sub back up. I would say that his uh, reliance on Hypnosis is a little bit misplaced because of the low accuracy, but it's got to hit eventually, right? Anyways, though, he doesn't want to stay in for the obvious Thunderbolt, so he switches back out to Jolteon. I see that coming, and I did go for the Focus Blast again, but I miss again. So, had I gone for those Hidden Power Ices, maybe that Jolteon would have been in killing range by now. Not really sure. He breaks my sub with that Shadow Ball, which is Unfortunato. I believe I just go for the Focus Blast again, and I miss again. So that's three Focus Blast misses versus three Hypnosis misses. This is a miss fest. This um, particular Ampharos has max HP and max special attack. So I do take that Shadow Ball, and I finally hit my Focus Blast, which means I'm finally able to get some damage in on this Jolteon. Uh, you'll notice that all the missiles that I had there won't matter at the end, and so will his. So it's interesting to see how those misses play out at the end of the match. But um, I just leave in uh, Decker to die here. He can go to sleep for a little while. I don't know what Electric Sheep would drink dream of. I don't know if they would dream of maybe Lamb jumping over fences. Not really sure. But I go on into White Wolf, my Absol. He's carrying, uh, I believe he's actually carrying the White Herb, I believe, so that when he uses superpower, he can get his stats back. Uh, I went for, the, I thought he'd actually stay in and try to hit me, but, uh, 
call that wrong. Find out here that he has Quick Claw and Snorlax is slow behind. And he gets it off. Quick Claw has a pretty low chance of ac activating. And I live because, uh, you know, he doesn't have any boost or anything. And I hit him with the Night Slash. I went for the Night Slash expecting to outspeed him. Hit him with the Night Slash on the first turn. Then hit him with the Super Power on the second turn. But he gets another Quick Claw bonus. And he flattens my poor Absol. Absol is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. And he doesn't get a chance to shine at all in this battle. But, uh... That, that is a uh, deceptively fast Snorlax, because he's able to <laughs> get that Quick Claw activation. There, I guess he stayed in there trying to hope for another Quick Claw activation, but uh, Akihiko, the Hitmonchan, just goes right for the stab close combat and kind of just wipes him right out right there. So that works out very nicely. Um, uh, my defenses drop, but, you know, no big deal. This uh, Hitmonchan has some in HP, some uh, max attack, and some in speed. Uh, and he has agility, so I try to agility up when I get the champ, but there's no way I'm going to stay in against an Alakazam. So I switch right out from that and bring in my, uh, this is a physical wall, but normally Vaporeon has a lot of HP, so he's able to take a lot of attacks. Now look at the damage that this does. My, I'm looking at my HP and it's going down and down and down and down and down. And wow, that was a crit. That did a lot of damage. Um, from that amount of damage, I'm guessing that this is either, uh, a Magic Guard Life Orb um, one, or it's a Specs one, and it turns out that it is Specs. So he is able to take out my Vaporeon there, which is unfortunate. I could have Witch Protect stalled him a little bit there had he not gotten that uh, critical hit. And I bring back out Thornelius, knowing that my Sash is still in place. I can take whatever hit he wants to do and blow him away with a Leaf Storm. Alakazam is still fairly fragile, despite the fact that he has great attack and great speed. So all I have to do is not miss my Leaf Storm, and it'll be fine. I couldn't use the Sleep Powder there, because even if my opponents don't play with Sleep Claws, I try to only put one of my opponents a Pokemon to sleep at a time. Uh, it's kind of more fair and balanced that way. Not even fair, it's just kind of more fun. Because otherwise you could just run like Scarf Breloom and put everything to sleep with Spore. Anyways though, uh, Thornelius does a great job there, takes out that Alakazam. He brings back out the Sleeping Arcanine, and uh, in 5th Gen the sleep mechanics have changed, so he has to stay asleep for one turn. And I think this is a good time to go out into my Darmanitan, which has the Life Orb. Um, so, Life Orb plus his ability, Sheer Fus, great boost to all of his attacks. I'm just going to go straight for the Earthquake. He does outspeed me, which I thought was interesting. Maybe he Scarfed? Um, because Darmanitan and Arcanine both have the same base speed. This Darmanitan is Jolly, so maybe that was a speed tie. I'm thinking he was Scarf, though. Uh, so, that works out. Take him right out with the Earthquake, no problemo. I take a little bit of Life Orb recoil. And now we are both down to our last... I'm down to three Pokemon, he's down to two. He has Melodic and Jolteon remaining, I believe. And I have my uh, Hitmonchan and Darmanitan and one other remaining. So I just protect there to get some more toxic damage in on him. Um, and to make sure that he was going to go for the attack or the Hypnosis or the Surf or anything like that. Um, and then on this turn I'm going to swap out to Hitmonchan. Knowing that Hitmonchan's natural bulk will um, allow him to take the Surce pretty decently depending on the EV investment on the Melodic. Based on how much damage this does, I do notice that it is, it probably has some special attack EVs because Hitmonchan's base special defense, even uninvested, allows it to take some hits on the special side, and I have HP in this one. So uh, he, he, it looks like he put some special defense, uh, special attack EVs in there. Now, um, he finally hits the Hypnosis here where it actually does really matter because I was definitely just going to um, go for the agility and close combat through the rest of it, uh, through his last few Pokemon. But he hits there, and that's the one that he needed. The other ones really didn't matter too much, because if he had put um, Deckard, the Emperor, to sleep, then I would have had Sleep Fodder for the rest of the match. Uh, so this is the one he needed, because he allows him to recover and get all the way back up to full HP, even though he's going to get that toxic damage in. Um, and I'm just going to stay in... Uh, I believe I just try to wake up. There we go, and I wake up on the first turn, hit him with the close combat, and this is where that Toxic from my Vaporeon comes back into play. Because Melodic's ability, Marble Skill, allows him to take that very well. I could have gone for the Thunder Punch, but the outlying threat of that Jolteon that he had on his team, I was afraid that he would predict that and switch that in, and that Jolteon outspeeds both of my two remaining Pokemon, and so I did not want that to get a free switch in. Uh, seeing the damage that my have that I have on me from the first surf, and now I have a special defense drop, I know I can't take another one, so I go back out into Thornelius for Death Water. I probably, if if I had maybe just let Hitmonchan die and gone for the Leaf Storm, I'm not really sure. 
I I had a few things I could do there. I think I made the best play, though, because that only had one HP. Jolteon still outspeeds everything I have left. So it really came down to whether or not uh, Hitmonchan could take a special attack from Jolteon or not. Um, I bring back out Darmanitan, the Abu Dean here, which, if you're wondering about the name, that's Abu, as in Aladdin, and then Dean, as in the fire attack from Persona. So... There's, that's where that name comes from. But I just go straight for the Protect. He goes for the Surf, and now he's going to die from that Toxic, which is nice. Uh, he could have swapped out, I guess. I didn't want to risk him outspeeding me for some weird reason. Melodic Space Speed is only 81 versus Darmanitan's 95, but I didn't didn't want to take any risks there. Uh, and I actually thought his last Pokemon is Jolteon, and I actually thought that Darmanitan could live with Thunderbolt. Um, and that's just based on Darmanitan's great HP stat, but his defenses aren't that good. So he cleanly takes me out with the Staff Thunderbolt there, no crit needed. And then it really came down to just Hitmonchan versus that Jolteon, and I, I thought I could take a Thunderbolt, I really did. Um, based on the HP that I had left and the fact that I took it pretty decently from Melodic. But I underestimated Jolteon and he takes me out, so that was a great match, Pothra. Uh, I hope to battle you again in the future. I hope you all enjoyed this match. If you um, did, please hit that like button. It does help. Whether you believe it or not, it really does help my video get noticed. And please hit subscribe so you can see what other stuff I have coming out. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye-bye now.